just prepared a couple of slides just to set the stage for the, the massive opportunity in front of us around investing in climate tech. If we actually, I'll show you, uh, you guys, can you guys see this? One of the key important theses out there uh, driving uh, climate technology investing is what's happening with a massive shift in uh, sources of electricity generation around the world. And the fact that solar is really leading the way. You can see that on this chart, on the yellow part of the bar chart. And the fact that you know 80 to 90% of new generation is renewable generation of electricity. Um, so this is good news. Uh, I know we just had COP16 and you know progress, but somewhat um, you know perhaps not as, as much progress as one would have hoped. But the reality as well is that there is a lot of lot going on, and particularly in electricity generation led by solar. And this is really happening around the world. What you see on this page is that the, the impact of solar and renewables is significant um, in most geographies around the world. We're particularly focused as Princeton Capital as we think about investment opportunities around the globe. In, in the bigger markets, there are, they have regulatory environments that are um, accommodating uh, and consumer behaviors that are also accommodating. And certainly Europe, uh, the US uh, have been main focuses of ours, but it's important to realize that China and India also have to, to go through this transition if we're gonna achieve broader goals uh, around the world. And so the secular opportunity is certainly there and it's been driven by one key variable. And, um, and you'll hear in a minute from NPAL um, how they've benefited from this in their business plan. And that is the massive reduction in the cost factor across all sources of renewable power. Um, onshore wind, offshore wind certainly have gone through that transition, but what you see more dramatically here in the orange line and in the green line is solar, both uh, panel costs as well as storage. And uh, storage is flattened out. You see the, the green line there, it's flattened out a little bit. Um, as we look at many companies that were, uh, were close to around the world, there are real good developments, um, not so far away, that I believe will actually create a new base, a much lower cost base for, for battery storage. And so we think this is just a temporary pause and there'll be another step function down. And this is really the catalyst for us to be able to have pricing that is competitive and allow people to make positive, good choices. Um, and in that process, create real opportunities for the core technologies and for new business models like, uh, like NPAL. And, um, and what we need is, is capital. You know, we're trying to do our bit at Princefield Capital uh, in, in having a sector fund that is, is really backing these exciting new types of companies in climate tech, but we need a lot more capital. This year has been a banner year. We're probably gonna be closer to 40 billion in capital invested in venture across climate technology type companies around the world. That's uh, almost doubling from last year, uh, quite significant. But, um, but we probably need five, 10 X uh, over the next several years. And I think we will get there. Um, we are certainly seeing the, the opportunity set expand. We're seeing the capital availability expand and, and we're excited at, at, what's, at what's ahead. Um, to make this kind of progress and get more capital invested in these types of companies, you need success stories, however. Um, it's a, it is a virtuous circle and the success stories come with great entrepreneurs. Um, and we certainly have been very proud to partner with NPAL uh, as an example of a success story that is still in the first stages of developing a, a very large successful business in Europe. And, and, uh, and one that, before I pass it on to Mario, one that addresses our philosophy at Principal Climate Tech, which is we seek returns, market adjusted returns for great companies that also drive a climate positive impact. We do not believe in concessionary returns if there's impact, we leave that to other folks. For us, we think that the only way to really marshal massive amounts of capital from us and other sources is to have proper, again, market-based returns for great companies that also happen to deliver a great climate positive impact. And, and NPAL is a, is, a, is a perfect example of that. And so let me pause. Um, Mario, the, the stage is yours. Uh, tell us about uh, the exciting things you're doing at NPAL. I'm sure we'll, we'll open up for questions. Thank you so much try to share my presentation. Okay, um, NPAL started with um, realizing that we all may have a big problem and we are entrepreneurs, so we are here to fix problems. And um, we created the, um, the, the dream of um, connecting humanity to become a renewable network. So what do we, what do we mean by that? Um, by the end of this decade, we want to power 10 million homes 
um, with um, the following solution. We want to put solar on their roof. We want to put a battery in their, um, in their house. And we want to um, put an electric vehicle in front of their door and connect everything to become um, a huge um, renewable network. And the thing we do different at NPAL um, compared to incumbent energy players is um, I think a lot of incumbent energy players still rely on fossil fuels. We are like 100% renewable. Um, the customer journey is more or less offline still. Yeah, We are like a 100% digital company. The centralized, there is a centralized production um, of energy um, with big coal plants or big nuclear plants. And we have thousands and thousands of different um, um, solar um, power plants on people's roofs. Yeah? And we are integrated, which means um, every solar system serves like um, a neuron in a, in a big energy brain. Yeah? And this is the way um, NPAL works. And we um, are scaling our solution um, um, very effectively by creating a no-brainer solution for, um, for our clients, which means we, we go to um, family um, Müller and tell them, okay, you get a full solar system, including a battery and um, uh, all the smart IoT technology, and you are paying less than you paid for your electricity bill before. And you um, are 20, 20 years. So our, our idea is very simple. We, we want to create a no-brainer solution for clients. So we, we tell them you are, you're saving money compared to your electricity bill by switching our, to our solution. You are 20 years free, um, um, free of, um, you have 20 years, we're gonna fix everything. If anything gets broken, we're gonna repair it for free. And after 20 years, the whole system is yours. And in total, you are saving a huge amount of money compared to the case that you would have stayed with your electricity provider. Yeah. So it's more, um, it's, it's, an, it's a no-brainer solution and people love it. Yeah. It's very easy. It's digital. Um, yeah. And I, uh, maybe this is a little bit a pity that you cannot see this slide here. You can see the, like the whole NPAL um, um, network, the whole NPAL solution. So we are putting a solar system on people's roofs. We have our own IoT technology in, um, in, in, installed in the house at our clients, uh, lasting there for 20 years. So the client can see on his um, app on, on, or on her app um, how much energy is produced, how much money they earn today by selling solar energy to the market. And um, clients absolutely love it. Most of our clients use it on a daily basis this app, yeah. They get um, um, uh, green electricity from NPAL as well. We um, launched our battery already this year and we will launch um, a wall box solution enabling our customers to um, charge electric cars with their solar systems on the roof, yeah. And we all um, connect these systems together to a, a giant um, renewable network. And um, yeah, here you see our our team. I think we we created a very terrific team with um, a lot of um, smart um, entrepreneurial driven partners who have done great things before and and um, are heavily invested to push NPAL in this decade. And um, we um, have a strong um, base of, um, of investors. We have Princeville invested uh, in our fund. We have SoftBank invested, uh, the Alexander Zamba, Picos Capital, HV Capital, Lukasz Kadowski's Team Europe. And we collected over 290, uh, 290 million um, so far. And we raised 500 million in debt from um, players like um, BlackRock. Um, we are proud to grow and to, to double our business every year, year over year, and we um, keep um, pushing like that to, to do something against climate change and uh, to turn the world carbon neutral. Thank you.